Podcast, sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of The Bobby Bone Show. We're so thrilled to have on incredible children's entertainers. They've won Juno Awards, Order of Canada. If there's an award out there for children's entertainment and TV shows, they've won it. We have Sharon and Bram of Sharon, Lois and Bram. Thank you both for coming on the show. Oh, what a lovely introduction. Thank you. You know, it's, it's so much fun having you both in studio, Sharon, to where, you know, growing up with, with the three of you, you know, when Lois was still alive and, and obviously with you and Bram, to where the shows had so much impact in Canada, but also here in the U.S., yeah. thanks to Nickelodeon. Yeah. They're wonderful, and they helped us a lot. <laughs> Our career changed from today to tomorrow when we went on Nickelodeon. It just went mm -hmm. bingo. And then we played all the big venues and state fairs, and it was thrill. And well, American and audiences were loving. State fairs, you played the White House. We yes. did. You played Carnegie Hall. That's right. I mean, the list goes on and on. Lincoln okay. Center, Kennedy Center. And sold out. Yeah. And, and now you've got a new album with a little bit country, 26 tracks. As I was listening to this, how do you keep this fresh? 45 years into this career, how do you keep the music fresh? It never stops. The thing is, they're classic songs. Right. They don't, they're not trendy. They were around, most of them, before we were born. And they will continue in other people's mouths as well. They're classics. Right. And it's fun to sing them, and it's fun to have the audience join us singing mm -hmm. them. And we put a lot of care into that album, which was produced by our beloved J.C. Don Valeris, who is a local talent, right. along with our, our friend and her colleague, Chris Stangela. Wow. And they, did a, they, they thought about it, they put it together, they suggested the songs we sing in it, and we've been listening to it over and over lately, and I'm, it makes me proud. Well, you know, and, and like Bram said also, to where you guys have classic songs on there, but also you have some new songs that hadn't been released yet. Right. And 26 songs, I mean, I think it's so great for children. I know both of you believe the same thing, to where music just opens a door and to have them, you know, sing with you. And I was kidding you about the elephant, you know, in, in the elephant TV show that was so popular with uh, both of you. It's like to have that interaction, I think it's so great for children and to learn and to sing and participate and then come to your shows. Right. And, and do it all with their families. Right. I mean, for, for us, that was huge, huh? Yeah. And they learn without knowing they're learning. Exactly. And we never force it to them. Now learn this. We never, we've never said those words mm -hmm. before. It's just, it comes in, it comes in, and a lot of it stays, and then it's there for life. Wow. Well, you know, I've got to bring this up also. Besides a brand new album that came out in June, you also have a new book that released in August. You've already had two best-selling books before this, and now you have Peanut Butter and Jelly yes. that came out in August. Right. And it's going to have a single along with it too, right? Well, it's a beloved song. We have sung it with our audiences. Bram was taught the song. I was in a classroom on my own, grade five, Right. Classroom, and I sang with them for half an hour. And they said, okay, now we've got a song for you. Okay. <laughs> and they sang me that. It's easy enough to learn. I learned it right there and then. I had them sing it to me again. Right. Just to... <laughs> <laughs> he was and, younger then. He learned it faster. <laughs> and, I, and I brought it to the group, and they said, sounds good to me, us. Wow. And we put it on a recording right away. And we've sung it in shows for all those many, many years, as we have Skin and Rink, which I is I was going to bring up, day. because yes. so many people are not. And, and I find it interesting, too, Sharon, where, you know, you have other, you know, singers yeah. and actors and actresses now who point to Sharon Lois and, and Bram as contributing to their careers. What does yeah. that feel like now, 45 it's, years in? Listen, we have fans who are adult age now who started out being child fans right. and never stopped. Well, like, and that like includes JC. the two producers of Chris. this recording. Right. They started out as children. Wow. We're and delighted to find out about, as you say, you know, significant other performers who, who are impacted by us. We, and we hear from people all the time who have had hardship in their lives. Mm -hmm. We hear, get a lot of 
touching messages, and we respond to them. They're just fun songs, though, but just yeah. like Skinner Inc., it's like when you hear a song like that, you can't not sing along. Exactly. You know, and, and there, so many of your songs are There are lots of people who sing Skinner Inc. who have no idea that it came from us. <laughs> no, and I don't, we, we, we don't care about right. that. I mean, they're singing a love song within their families, mm -hmm. to their friends. That's what really matters. And I, I met someone on a plane coming here who was from Quebec. She was a French-speaking person, right. and she wasn't as familiar with us as the English-speaking people in Canada, mm -hmm. and so she didn't know who Sharon Lois and Bram were. I said, I'm going to let you know who we are, and I sang her the first <laughs> line of Skinner, and he said, oh, that's who you are. I mean, but to be able to touch that many people globally from something that you started, and I, and I found it so interesting, too, and some of our viewers may not know this, but the band really started out, you know, uh, with Mariposa. And also, yes, we were each of us performing individually. We, we were part of an organization called Mariposa, Mariposa in the schools. Mariposa mm -hmm. is a big successful folk festival. Right. And we were part of the, a, a collective and mm -hmm. we decided to make a record. One record, just because we shared values and the kind of records that we wanted to do. Right. And so we said, let's make a record. The first time we ever sang together was in prep for that record, preparing the songs. And it was really the response to the record that there, did There this. was no career plan, no. none at all. Right. It, it came at us. We didn't yeah. do that. And we said, Okay, <laughs> let's, 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 let's see what happens. Well, and especially when you had to go to family and friends to borrow the original money. A fortune, $20,000. Yeah, we which, thought which that was a lot, of, money that was a was lot a of dough back then. Yeah, but I mean, to, to launch your careers that way, yeah. and then you look at all of these years later, your 17th album coming out it's, from those humble beginnings. Yeah, who knew? And those people didn't, they were fans and family, and they cared about what we were doing. They didn't have a dream of getting the money back. And the record came out in September of 78. And in December, we had a party. And we put their checks in Christmas crackers. Oh. And they went bang. And there was their, <laughs> their money back. Their whole capital How investment. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now I've got to ask you both, because obviously having you on TV and it's such an honor. But how many TV shows have you done? over the years, do you have any idea? Yeah, well, we've done a bunch of specials. I right. don't know how many. Mm -hmm. And interviews. But we of did, course, but, but we did 65 elephant shows. Elephant shows. Right. We did 52 of the next series, which mm -hmm. was called Skin and Marink TV. TV. Mm -hmm. And so that and adds did, up to a, 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 a special called 25 Years of Skin right, and Rink. Right. And then we did a whole bunch of other We're stuff that's impossible. Well, and I've got to bring this up, too. I mean, to brag on you both a bit, there's rumors of a documentary. That's a great plan. <laughs> you know, I couldn't help but going through the notes and reading about, you know, your careers and the incredible impact you've had on children and adults and multi-generational. It seems like a documentary is only fitting now. Well, my daughter, Randy Hampson, who manages us and makes our lives a lot better and a lot easier, has had a dream of doing a Sharon Lois and Bram documentary. Wow. And she's now working with a producer and a, a filmmaker. Filmmaker happens to be the son of the keyboard player who played with us for 35 years. And the leader it's, it's of like our it's band. All, it's yeah. all family. Yeah. Because it's you're, all bring, family. you're bringing in the yeah. kids yeah. and everybody else with you. And he says he remembers being on tour with us when he was, you know, a little, a little kid. <laughs> That's Smoking so cigarettes. No, that was his brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and a grandson that plays bass. Yeah, he, Bram's... Yeah. No, Bram's brother plays... Mando. Mandolin. Randy's son plays bass right. and guitar. There you go. So it, it really is a family band, and her beau plays guitar for us. So we, And still playing sold-out shows. We, we try to. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. Yep. So the documentary, maybe next year? Yeah. May, I'd say, I'd maybe say. is a good word. Yeah. The thing is, it takes time it to get it right. Well, and also to gather everything. I mean, such a deep history exactly. with, uh, with both of you and with everything you've accomplished. And I think they have to show the park also in Toronto that's named after you. Yeah, the park is. Obviously. The park, yes. <laughs> the, Sh the Sharon Lois and Brown Playground right. and Music Garden, which is. How in amazing the park. is that? Yeah, that was now, very when, cool. Now, when you started it, did you ever imagine that you would have something no. like that? No. You know, with 2,000 people showing up to applaud your work. Incredible. No, none, you know, it's funny how you, you have 
we didn't dream about any of this stuff. I mean, it's not like a dream that came true. It was When we played in Toronto at Massey Hall, which was a big, important hall in Toronto, Definitely. playing there with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra, and I remember being there as a teenager, playing my cello in the high school band, wow. the high school orchestra. So, you know, those are, those are dreams. Mm -hmm. But they, I didn't have it as a dream, but it came like a dream. Well, and, and sharing your music with, you know, now, so many generations of people and, and with the books and with the new album out, also a little bit of country, which I understand is available on CD. I think it should be available on vinyl. That's just me. I'm old school. Well, apparently, if you want any <laughs> vinyl, you've got to wait a very long time for them to right. make it. Yeah, but at I least you can get the CDs that. and you can add the song list on through playlists uh, and everything. Now and too. with the CD, if you want, you can add surface noise. <laughs> now, is that where you put the nickels on top of the CD player, like my old phonograph? Because I had to do that to, you know, to try and level out the scratches. That's right. Yeah. But we you, should you don't mention have to that the, the illustrator of this book and the other two books, When Elephant Went Out to Play and Skin and Ring, the illustrator is Chin Lang, and the illustrations are spectacular. Just She's incredible. She's a beautiful job. Well, and I've got to ask you this question too, Sharon, like back on tour, are the books and CDs also going to be available while you're out playing shows and everything too? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Besides yeah. obviously online and on your website yeah. and yes. everything. Yes. The website is very comprehensive. And I heard that the TikTok channel is getting pretty exciting. Yeah. They tell us. You're going viral now. Yes. I can't and that, and they, in a good it. way. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. And we get from the things that are on TikTok, mm -hmm. we get wonderful feedback, lovely messages of people about what we meant to them as children and wow. how it's, what did they say, youth, I can't remember the experiment. Well, one of them said, you saved my life. Yes. Incredible. Yes. Well, and I think We've music has the power to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's forever. So. Mm -hmm. It really is incredible. Well, I want to make sure for our viewers, the new album is out, A Little Bit of Country. Obviously, the book is out, too, Peanut Butter and Jelly. There's two other books. I think you need the whole set. And then on the website, you guys have a, an extensive website also, right, Sharon? Yeah. We do. We do. Totally comprehensive. Everything you need to know about us is More there. More than we know. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> and, you're, and you're going to be doing a lot of the TikTok stuff, right, Bram? Yeah. Whatever, yeah. We tell, whatever yeah. they tell us to it. do, we'll do it. Yeah. yeah. That's, the, it, that's why it works for me here, too. It's perfect. It's amazing. It's and good to you, have people you know, to do that. The thing about working with kids is that you don't have to say, that's a kid's thing, that's a kid's thing, that's a kid's thing. Basically is, I like that, I like that, that does it for me, right. and we're going to share it. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of our songs are not children's songs. Right. They're, real, they're real songs mm -hmm. that obviously we're not going to do songs with dirty words in it, right. or, or concepts that are beyond their experience, mm -hmm. but it's very broad. Well, and, and that I the like entire that. family can enjoy. Yeah. That's and crucial. I, and I think we need more things like that. That's yeah. crucial for yeah. us. That was from day one. Our first record said it's a children's record for the whole family. <laughs> the first record. It's just amazing. And 45 years later, yeah. here we are. Well, it's so nice to have on Sharon and Bram from Sharon, Lois, and Bram. The book is out, Peanut Butter and Jelly, also a little bit country. 26 songs. You're going to love them all. Get the CD. If you want to, add it to your playlist. Your kids are going to enjoy it, your entire family, but also go see these lovely people on tour. Sharon and Bram, thank you so much for thank coming you. on the show. Thank you. What a lovely thank interviewer. You. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show.